Welcome to Eye on the Tigers News. I'm Josh Yarden. Thanks for taking some time to join us today for the news we've been following for you. Explosions ripped through a fireworks market north of Mexico City on Tuesday, killing at least 29 people, 72 others were injured. People in neighboring towns reported that they could feel the ground tremble beneath their feet as fireworks stalls exploded in a town just north of Mexico City. The series of blasts sent huge plumes of smoke pillowing into the sky. Investigators hunted Wednesday for a Tunisian man whose documents were found in the truck that plowed into a Christmas market in Berlin, killing 12 people and injuring 48 others, German media reported. The Islamic State group has claimed responsibility for Monday's attack on the market near to the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church in the center of the capital. Soon after, police arrested a Pakistani man found about a kilometer from the market who matched witness descriptions of the truck's driver, but they released him the next day, saying they did not have evidence tying him to the attack. Authorities say a former U.S. postal worker is charged with delaying and destroying mail after investigators found about 4,500 pieces of mail in the woods outside Atlanta. Prosecutors say a 25-year-old man was indicted by a federal grand jury on the charge. He has pled not guilty. Investigators say they found the mail in a wooded area in Decatur, Illinois, and some pieces of the mail that was dumped had cancellation dates as early as October 15th. The turbulent U.S. election, featuring Donald Trump's unexpected victory over Hillary Clinton in the presidential race, was the overwhelming pick for the top news story of 2016, according to the Associated Press's annual poll of U.S. editors and news directors. The number two story also was a dramatic upset, Britain's vote to leave the European Union. Union. Most of other stories among the top ten reflected a year marked by political upheaval, terror attacks, and racial divisions. The third top story is the shooting of black men by police. Fourth was the Pulse Club shooting. Number five were the worldwide terror attacks. Number six was the, the police ambush in Dallas. Coming in at number seven was the email leaks at the Democratic National Committee, while the eighth top story was Syria. And at number nine was Antonin Scalia's death and the Supreme Court. And the tenth top, sto top story was Hillary Clinton's emails. The Associated Press has been conducting the top 10 list since 1936. A suburban Chicago man is suing McDonald's restaurants in two Illinois counties, arguing cheeseburgers are, quote, extra value meals, are actually more expensive than when the items are purchased separately. James Gertie of Des Plaines says that building two cheeseburgers, medium french fries, and a drink at $5.90 is 41 cents more than when individual items are purchased. Gertie, a bus driver, says his lawsuit filed this month is about principal, not 41 cents. We've got some quiet weather on tap for today. The official first day of winter, and of course, the shortest day of the year. Here's Alexis with the forecast. We're in a relatively quiet weather pattern. Certainly so if you compare the, the weather to last week. We're cloudy today with temperatures moderating in the mid-30s. Tonight, a small system brings in some light snow after midnight, but accumulations look to be light, maybe an inch or two. On Thursday, we remain cloudy with some snow showers. We could see another inch with high temperatures again in the mid-30s. We clear out for a little, for a little while early Friday. We, we should see a little more in the way of sun before clouds roll in as another system comes in later Friday. Now, this system brings with it some wet weather. Right now, it appears that precipitation may fall, may fall in the form of rain, but there are also some early data that shows some freezing rain is possible, especially after midnight. The Christmas weekend looks pretty good for people who are traveling. Some rain on Saturday gives way to partly cloudy skies on Christmas Day. Temps in the mid-30s. That's the forecast. Have a great day. I'm Alexis. <laughs> Mexico boys hoop moved its record to 3-1, and one, despite a slow start that saw the team down 10-6 after the first quarter. Now, the team would rally and go on to score a 54-37 win at Jordan Elbridge. Dakota D.C. led the way for Mexico with 17 points, while Dylan DeLong pumped in 15. Fellow senior Zach Lawler added 9 points on three three-pointers. Mexico score, outscored J.E. 48-27 over the last three quarters. Mexico boys swimming and diving, well, they traveled to J.D. and C.B.A. today for what might be the marquee matchup of the day. Now, the meet may well decide who ends up as the league champ. 
Both teams come into the meet with identical 2-1 and one records. On the wrestling match, Mexico travels to Marcellus for a dual meet tonight. Also tonight, the Syracuse Orange. Well, they look to make it two in a row tonight when it takes on former Big East rival St. John's. Now, Syracuse is desperate for a non-conference win as it heads into AC, ACC play, which begins January 1st. Now, St. John's, well, they've struggled so far this year, coming into the game at 5-7. and seven. Now, the Red Storm, their starters are all underclassmen. The game tips off at 7 and will be available on the Yes Network. That's a quick look at sports. I'm Michael. Have a great day. Epic reports for the second quarter will be going home on Friday. Of course, those grades may be accessed from school tools. Seniors who have not ordered the $35 cap and gown set for graduation, you need to pick up a card from the main office and order it online. Class shirts are on sale now. Deadline to buy one is December 25th. Order forms are in Mr. Charles' room. That's it for us today. Thanks for joining us again. Look for us again on Thursday. Have a great day. I'm Josh.